Cited by many as the best example of the geological record on Earth, the Grand Canyon is a mile deep collection of layers, which is missing 90 plus percent of the alleged time of evolutionary history. The excuse will be that erosion took away the missing layers, but then the layers which remain have been untouched by erosion of any kind for the thousands of years they supposedly took to form. They are horizontal, flat, and extend for hundreds or even thousands of miles across the continent, yet somehow formed without being burrowed into by plants or animals or dug into by sun, rain, and wind or rivers and streams. A far more reasonable explanation would be that the layers aren't missing. The millions of years are missing. Like Bigfoot. It just ain't there, people. You can stop looking now. What do we find in lots of those clean layers? Marine invertebrates. The earliest and many of today's best geologists acknowledge the flood of Noah to be the only event which could make sense of such huge and even rock deposits full of sea creatures. If the list of layers doesn't really exist, how do we determine the age of the rock layers we do have? We use index fossils. This means, if the rock has a fossil in it which is 300 million years old, the rock must be 300 million years old. How do we know the fossil is 300 million years old? Simple. We find it in rock which is 300 million years old. This is where you expect me to say something about radiometric dating methods. Okay, here you go. They almost never have anything to do with this. Because radio dating is expensive, and shoddy at best, most people never radio date their fossil finds. Since radio dating methods are only used on volcanic rock, but fossils are found in sedimentary rock, you can't actually radio date fossils or the rock they're found in anyway. They use this index fossil method of dating the fossil by the rock, and dating the rock by the fossil. If you need an example of circular reasoning, you won't find a better one than this. Mm -hmm.